So you built your website with Wix. Can you SEO that thing out and really make it rank? You absolutely can. Let me show you how to make that happen. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, small business owners improve their online presence, fix up their websites, improve their SEO to get them found on Google, which equals more money in their pockets. And today what I want to discuss is the website builder Wix and what I kind of think about it. Wix, um, I personally don't really like it. I've seen people use it before. You can build some pretty cool looking websites. Um, I think with time, I think they've gotten better with SEO and they can rank and stuff like that. But it always comes down to the fundamentals of a website and doing the SEO part and doing it correctly. At the end of the day, Google and human behavior are going to be one and the same. What Google's looking for on a website is what a human being is going to be looking for a website. If the human being likes a particular website, the more likely Google's going to like that website. If a human being can read the website and know what it's going to be about, there's a 100% chance that Google will do the same. The algorithms and the way Google works will do the exact same thing. And today I want to show you how to optimize a Wix website if that's something that you guys have on. And some of this philosophy will work on any website builder. But today I'm going to show you guys, I was hired out just, I think, last week for somebody who has an asphalt paving company in Buffalo, New York. Well, in the outskirts of the town, but they're looking to improve their SEO and fix up their site. So they hired me out just to go ahead and fix it for them. So this is exactly what I did. And you can see their website right here. This is built with Wix. I use the same philosophy, same formula of what's this website about? What's in it for me? How do I get it? Right here, Asphalt Paving Buffalo, New York. What's in it for me? How do I get it? Call now. And then I built it basically in the same formulas that I use other, other platforms to build it. This section, I build them in sections and all this stuff here. The service pages, what makes, separates us. The process they go through when they contact this asphalt paving company, some uh, testimonials. I know this has nothing to do with junk removal, but it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if this was carpet cleaning or somebody cuts trees or somebody rents out bounce houses. The exact same thing would hold true. So this is how the website's all designed. All I did was their homepage. I didn't really fix anything else much on it. This is all they really wanted. The search volume for asphalt paving is so much smaller than junk removal, so it's not as important to add more and more additional pages and things like that. But you can see how I fixed this site. And I'm going to show you how their editor works. So if you go into, this is, for example, their homepage. <clears throat> Uh, so this is Asphalt Paving. This is their headline. This always goes back to SEO. The three fundamentals are meta title, meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, and then, of course, the content. you got to have good content on the website. Follow those three things, and you're probably like 50% already uh, ahead of the curve for most people. So what I did, I came in and I fixed their headline, Asphalt Paving, Buffalo, New York, to be found for that area. And you go on here. I clicked on here. This is their builder. Oops, let's return that back. Go on here, edit text. You can see I changed it to H1 title tag. There you go. That was easy. Then the section right here, same thing. Edit text, H2 title tag right there. That's done. Uh, I think I, I did three on it, so that's pretty much all they need. Edit text here, H2 title tag as well. That's the end of that. Um, that's pretty much it. I added about, I think it was about 1,000 words of content, maybe 1,200. Um, sprinkled in the keywords, asphalt paving, paving contractor, um, paving contractor Buffalo, New York. That's the sort of thing throughout the, the throughout the content. So a human being reading this would know this is an asphalt paving company that does service in Buffalo, New York. If a human being can understand that, Google's going to understand that. And don't make it spammy, of course. And then the meta title, meta description. You just go on here. On their pages tab right here, click on here. Hold on real quick. Manage pages. They should have an option right here, the three dots. SEO basics. All websites have that. So here's how the meta title and meta description will look on when somebody looks it up online. Here's a, here's a, how it looks like right here. And all you have to do is fix that by going on here. Uh, what's the page title tag? Asphalt Paving, Buffalo, New York, Sutton Paving, Excavating, and, and so forth. We offer Buffalo, New York, asphalt paving services, driveways, parking lots, roads, repairs, and more. So I sprinkled Asphalt Paving, Buffalo, New York in the meta title, Buffalo, New York, Asphalt Paving in the description part of it, 
and that's it. Now let's take a look. One of the huge advantages this place has is that their domain name is incredibly old, which is great. I have a check the domain age. It's four years old, so almost five years old. So it's already in great shape. Google's already going to trust that domain just based on age. And then now if I type in Asphalt Paving Buffalo, New York, uh, this was, I just finished the site last week. But you can see, I checked it the other day. They are already on page two, at the top of page two. Give it a give it a couple weeks, it'll probably be on page one. Not at the top, but it'll be on page one. Let's see, paving, just ba paving Buffalo, New York. Just out of curiosity, Let's see where they show up here. They show up at all. Let's scroll one more over. Yep, they're right there, page two. So give us some time. All these search terms are going to get found for that. If this guy ends up wanting to do more SEO stuff on it, which I offered. Um, I'm pretty sure we can get them pushed towards the top and get them found for asphalt paving out there in the Buffalo, New York area, and in the local search as well. So you can see, as long as you follow the fundamentals of SEO, meta title, meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, and in 1,000, 1,200 words of content, you should be sitting pretty and have a huge advantage over your competition. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about what I do, some of the services that I provide, feel Feel free to reach down here on my description below. Click on my links. Uh, you can check, take a look at this website here. I'll have a link on it so you can check it out. Once again, never copy content. Google's going to know. Don't copy content. That's uh, sleazy. And Google knows it. And so you just don't want to do it. You know, just come up with your own stuff. It's not that hard to do with a little practice, a little time. And then you should, you should be good to go with your business. So this is information for those of you guys who build a website with Wix. Till next time.